Sydney's given me so many happy moments in my life, and I'm, and this is probably, yeah, this is up there with all of them. This is the best. I just, this is a great moment for me, and I'm just so thrilled. Probably, you know, right up there with the day she was born. It was um, on Thanksgiving. The bills were on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they lost that day too. <laughs> so in the year, just, we'll talk about your next big moment. You can't have it on a Sunday. <laughs> but I was just remembering stuff and I was just talking with my family and talking about how wonderful how great I feel, and how wonderful I feel, and how happy I am for you too. And I just feel like you could, couldn't have picked a better person. Hello, everybody. I'm the best man, Luke Real. Uh, I'm not sure if you've heard, but I'm a big deal. Um, I met this fine gentleman in about 2010, 2011, or 12. Who knows? I track. Very stubborn. Very opinionated, but just, whew, um, whew, good luck, Sid. Uh, but he is probably one of the greatest guys that I know uh, because he lives for you and will do anything for you. And he's just a, he's a top notch guy. Um, still, good luck. No, you just, you see these two. And you just know that that's it. This is this is how it's meant to be. Um, as an example, she, those, these two would come up to Montana uh, for a vacation, and <laughs> we're playing board games. Uh, and Colin wanted to play something else, which upset Sydney because we were playing a very. Uh, a game that she enjoyed very much, and Colin popped off with the mouth of, hey Sydney, you're ruining Luke and Colin time. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, this is gonna be weird, but I'm... But she popped off right away with, Colin, did you ever think that maybe you're ruining Sydney and Luke time? <laughs> and at that moment, I knew I absolutely knew in the bottom of my heart that these two will have no problems putting me in an awkward situation. My name's Rachel, and I'm one of the Honors. Sid, Luke, and Colin. Sid, let me start this by thanking you for giving me the privilege of standing by your side today. You're a stunning bride, and dedicating a speech to you is easy, even though I am a little nervous. <laughs> I'm super shy. <laughs> We bonded over our love for the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, the first time that we hung out, it was just two gals in jerseys yelling at the players on a mini dorm room TV and the rest is history. There are so many traits that I love about Sydney. She's thoughtful, generous, and fiercely loyal. And she's picking up more times than I can count. But one of my favorite traits of hers is her love for adventure. Sid is down to scale a mountain, get flung off a suspension bridge, or take a six hour road trip with me at the drop of a hat to stare at some pretty fall foliage. <laughs> we have had countless adventures over the past few years in Colorado, and I'm so happy to be a part of your biggest adventure yet, the love story that you found with Colin. Those of you who don't know me, I'm Kate. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, and I'm a major of honor, and I've had the privilege of being Sid's best friend for the past 15 years. Um, what drew me to Sid in middle school is exactly what I am sure many of you admire her for now. Um, she's simply the most genuine soul. She loves trash food and TV just as much as the rest of us. And most importantly, she loves her people very hard. But something you might not know about Sid, 
since she is a strong, independent, athletic feminist. Um, she's always been a hopeless romantic. You see, um, she had this large composition notebook laid next to her bed in middle school. Um, I'm sure, I wish I had it now, but I'm sure it didn't make the move in Wendy and Ed's trip um, to Main Street, um, or it's been burned, but um, she kept song lyrics, quotes, and wishy poems. Uh, I wish I had an example, but you could just imagine that all the lyrics to Taylor Swift's first album were lathered across the pages. <laughs> She's mostly been searching for the man who could live up to her favorite quotes. Now this is where Colin comes in. It was probably almost, unfortunately, two years um, after he and Sid started dating that I had the chance to travel to Denver to meet the guy who had stolen my best friend. I knew that he made her laugh, was patient with her, and came with this non-negotiable about 40, 40 gallon fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> Um, after days of admiring the way that Sid lit up when she was around him and this natural back and forth banter that they had, um, I knew that she was in good hands. As I lay in bed that night in their guest room during that stay, right next to that non-negotiable fish tank, <laughs> my heart could not be more full knowing that Sid had found someone who fulfilled all the words in her composition notebook. As the matron of honor, I suppose that I'm supposed to have some marriage advice for the two of you. So in my whole two months of marriage, um, <laughs> this is what I've come up with. Embrace each other's flaws, um, Colin. When you get home from work every day, and you see that once again, a pile of packages have arrived with only Sydney's name on them, instead of rolling your eyes and stepping over those packages, Bring them inside. <laughs> Maybe even take them out of that packaging they're in and recycle the cardboard. <laughs> Step one to a good marriage, and my husband's still working on that one. <laughs> Step two, support each other's wildest dreams. Sid, I've heard Colin say multiple times that he wants at least five children. <laughs> Let's just say that Papa Worth and I will be waiting. <laughs> um, and Colin, if Sid decides to adopt all of her geriatric patients, just know that you'll have free childcare. <laughs> and finally, step three, as I hand my forever person over to her forever person, never stop being each other's best friends. The little things matter just as much as the big things. And because I have read the pages of Sid's hopeless romantic composition notebook, I know that you're both off to a start to a life full of the most genuine love. So if you could please raise your glass again.
face Breathe it in and slowly breathe it out There's a place just for us Here in the gold town